my South African roots are in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. I grew up in an environment of art and books. Right from the very early age, we lived on a mountain where there were caves, and then we would go and explore and spelunk the caves and where there were paintings, you know, so-called Bushmen paintings, paintings by Abatwa people, which of course as kids would deface by using chalk, you know, to paint our own, you know, sometimes on top of, of the Bushmen paintings or besides them, trying to copy. Uh, at the time we didn't know that we were actually defacing these great works of art that should be lasting for generations and generations. So I'm part of all the vandalism that happened there, but then which also, you know, was part of my initiation into, into art. My approach generally is that um, to me, art is art is art. I wake up one day, I feel like composing a song, I compose a song. I wake up one day, I feel writing a poem or painting a picture, I just do that. It's only later when you look at the various works that you'll see that there is that symbiotic relationship between the various arts. I see myself more as a storyteller. Whether it's music, it's painting, it's just the mode of, story, of storytelling that I choose to use at that time. It is the story itself that tells me how it should be told. Here in New York, our consulate of the South African Embassy approached me with a wonderful idea that they are planning to have a cultural center. Well, I approached uh, Professor Mda through one of my colleagues in, in the service, who's, who's a good friend of, of the prof. I learned that the prof is, uh, Professor Mda is based here in the U.S. in Athens, Ohio, and uh, I got linked to him. And overall, he's someone that I've always held in high regard, having read a number of his uh, uh, novels, uh, one of his novels, Ways of Dying. So when I got connected to him and then told him about my vision and, and the dream we were having of establishing a centre by August, September this year, he said, in, coincidentally, he has an exhibition planned in South Africa. He's been painting and all that. He can lend us uh, his, his, his artwork prior to the artwork going to South Africa with the opening of the cultural center with his exhibition at the same time. I think it's also a very groundbreaking moment and also on the eve of our Heritage Day, which is the 24th of September. This is, this is it's quite a marvelous uh, set of circumstances to find ourselves in. All exhibitions have titles. This one is titled uh, Washboards and, and Mirrors the collages of Zeixin. My paintings are collages, which means that in many of them I use mixed media. A lot of these found objects are mirrors in that I want to draw you into the painting and make you feature. When you look at the painting, you also see yourself in these mirrors. The washboard is part of the culture of where I live there in Southeast Ohio. Because a lot of my paintings uh, celebrate uh, performance art, music and dance. Music and dance in South Africa, music and dance in the Appalachia. This show should become the forerunners of many other shows that will happen here, so that the people of New York and of the United States in general come into contact with the wonderful and the great South African culture. The plan is to make the, the, this, this facility available uh, primarily to, to, to South Africans to, to, shake, to showcase their art. They'll have an opportunity to showcase their work. So cultural services, the cultural center, is a practical expression of, of our desire 
to provide cultural services and to put South Africa on the map. So I can't believe I'm, I'm living to, to witness the establishment of South Africa's, South Africa's own cultural center, the very first in the world uh, in the presence of our minister who had uh, directed us uh, in May to to do more regarding cultural diplomacy and to have a year as we launch it and to have iconic an iconic exhibition, I'm beyond pleased. When my paintings are here, I know that even ordinary people who are not, who are not art collectors just will just come just to admire the art, not necessarily to buy a painting or something, will have access to them. It not being a commercial gallery, it being a cultural center where people come, enjoy our, our heritage, our tradition, and share the blessings of our culture, the glories of our, 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 our heritage.